Hey Toy Addicts, this is Jody, and this is Georgia. I went to a sale this weekend and they had um, several Cabbage Patch soft sculpture kids. So if you're not familiar with soft sculpture kids, um, your regular Cabbage Patch kids have like the hard plastic faces. And these ones do not have the hard plastic faces. They are all made and sculpted out of fabric and thread. And these are more like the original Cabbage Patch dolls. Still make these at Babyland General. You can still buy them. They're very expensive, but you can still get these, I believe. So when you would go to Babyland General, this one, for instance, she's from the 80s in the 80s, then you could buy these specifically. You may have been able to buy them through mail order and stuff like that too, but they were um, made in much smaller numbers and much harder to find than your typical Cabbage Patch dolls with the hard faces that were mass manufactured by Coleco and then later Mattel and Hasbro. So these are more one-off. They were handmade, their eyes are hand painted, and um, even though they have sort of the same shape as a Cabbage Patch doll, a regular Cabbage Patch doll, they are much larger. Your regular 80s Cabbage Coleco Cabbage Patch doll is about 16 inches tall. She stands 22 inches tall, so she's quite a bit larger. Um, the clothes, Sometimes have marks on them, sometimes do not. Um, I found another one on eBay that has um, the same dress, but in a Coleco Cabbage Patch doll, somewhere here on the sleeve, there would be a little um, tab that would say Cabbage Patch Kids on it. She doesn't have that. She does have, if you look at the bottom of her shoes, now these are more like real baby shoes, style shoes. And um, it does say Xavier Roberts here on the bottom. Uh, she's quite a bit heavier than the original dolls, too, just because she's larger, I guess. She also has the markings on her butt that says Xavier Roberts, 1986. Some of these you can find um, that are actually hand signed, and I do have one of those. I'll show you how that looks later. But um, you could see... This is actual fabric on her head and not um, plastic. And I'm just looking to see if there's any tags or anything in her dress, but I don't think there is. They have the same type of belly button like the regular. Their body, the rest of their body is a lot like a regular Cabbage Patch doll. Just... Um, a little bit larger in stature than the regular Cabbage Patch doll. She also came with this um, little, it's not an umbrella. I can't think of what it's called right now, but you know, that just keeps the sun off you. So that's Georgia. And I have a couple more I'm going to show you. Now this gal here, she's even bigger at almost 24 inches tall and she has all of this wild hair. Look at this hair. It's all like curly hair and in the back it's just this huge mane. She's got a bow in her hair. She's got some freckles painted on her face and again fabric face, hand painted eyes. These are also called the little people. So she has a tag. I'm going to show you here her. You see how she's got this pink here? This is um, actual hand airbrushing to kind of give her some color. And then she shows eight, 1988 there. And then she's got this little tag here on her side where it's, it says Xavier Roberts. Sorry, my camera's shaking. The Little People, Cabbage Patch Kids. And then again, she's got the little like baby style shoes where one of them has 
the Xavier Roberts name underneath. Then I also picked up this little gal. She actually has her tag still um, pinned to her. Her name is Simone Kathleen. So it gives a little information about the dolls and their instructions. She has a really cute embroidered dress. Um, she had these glasses on. I don't know if they really came with her. I'm going to have to do some research on that to see if those are her glasses. But she's got the hand airbrushing to kind of make her skin a little pink, which is neat. She has the, um, the shoes and the marks. So this is another big one where she's about 23 inches. These are all pretty big. The ones I got, they're, they're very much larger than your average Cabbage Patch doll. So here's another one of the gals that I got. Now she is actually, um, she's kind of dirty as you can see. She's not in both perfect condition. But she's actually a volunteer candy striper from the Babyland General Hospital, which is where um, Cabbage Patch dolls are made. And it's like a little roadside attraction. You can actually go see Cabbage Patch dolls being born and stuff. And it's, it's a little odd. <laughs> I gotta be honest, but um, cool for the Cabbage Patch doll collector. She has a little like nurse's hat on. Unfortunately, it's a little bit dirty and stuff, but um, this one, she doesn't have any shoes on either, but I did get some extra shoes out of a bin of clothes they have, so I can put those on her. But this one is cool because she's the one that actually has an Xavier Roberts. This is a hand-signed, like with a Sharpie signature, and it's 1980. So... She is a hand-signed doll from 1980. So this is really one of the original and early ones. She has um, a Xavier Roberts. Maybe, maybe it's 86. I wonder if it's 86. Because 80 would really be early. Um, she's kind of dirty, like I said, which is unfortunate. I'm not going to clean her. I'm going to sell her as she is. I'm not sure what that year is. I'm not going to say it's 80 because it could be 88. It could be 86. It's hard to tell. Anyway, um, I'm not going to try and clean her or anything. I'm going to sell her as she is. Um, but she has some nice, nice green eyes. But she's really neat. She's a really neat one. I thought it was really neat to find one that had um, the um, original signature on it. I thought that was really cool. And then I got these two. Now I'm not sure if these two are supposed to be twins or if they're just both like Christmas... Um, special editions. I'm not really sure, but they, I'm assuming twins because they both have the same hair color and the same eye color. And of course the matching outfits and they've got the little Xavier Roberts on their shoes. He's got some kind of wonky red socks on. See those there? They're kind of wonky. They probably didn't come with them, but these I thought were super cute. As a pair, I paid half price, so I paid 17 for each of them. So, yeah, so I paid 34 for the pair. Um, and of course, these are going to be up on eBay. So, if you see this anytime soon, you can go down in the description and um, check out my eBay if you're interested in them. So what they also had at this sale was just basically like a big pile of, they had a bunch more of these dolls. I wish that I would have um, done some more filming. Um, it was so hot in the house and I was trying to get the ones I wanted to get. And these are so big and I was carrying them around in these big bags and I just, 
I just couldn't film anymore. Couldn't film anything in there, but they did have these, uh, a big pile of birth certificates. So these birth certificates are different than the average Cabbage Patch birth certificates you get that come in those little folders that, um, that are inside the box. These are a little bit different. So like these dolls, I don't know their names. And so I just grabbed some of them that seemed like maybe they were the right years. So this one is for, uh, Hetty, Hetty Zenda from 1985. And it has a name on it, Carol and Jerry McDaniel. Riverside, California. I'm sure that's not their current address. This is 1965 or 1985. And I picked these up in Oregon. <laughs> so it says process through adoption center, the treasure chest. So maybe that's like the store that they bought them in. And um, she was adopted by a child, a teen or an adult. Interesting that they put that on there. Oath of Adoption. After meeting the special Cabbage Patch Kid and learning of his or her needs, I want to make the major commitment of becoming a good parent to him or her. I solemnly promise to be an understanding parent to the best of my ability, to provide his or her needs, handle with care, love, and nurture with most of my affection. With most of my affection? <laughs> train him or her up in the way that he or she should go and cherish my role as an adoptive parent of the only Cabbage Patch Kid of his or her kind in the world. Interesting. Okay. And this is the adopting parents copy. So I'm sure they kept the copy, you know, for official adoption records. So later, um, <laughs> You can add this information to your um, Ancestry.com, you know, when you adopted your Cabbage Patch children. <laughs> um, and this would be like if you were to fold it up, I guess. And then here's the certificate for Hetty Zandra. Has a little gold seal and everything. So, um, they did have adoption papers for, um, the dolls from the eighties as well. Um, they actually had a whole stack at this sale and I tried to buy the whole stack because they didn't have very many dolls from the eighties. They told me that the woman who owned these had a not cabbage patch kids, nonprofit organization. I don't know what that means. But um, maybe she gave out Cabbage Patch Kids to needy kids for Christmas. That would have been awesome. Here's a birthday card. And of course, you've got Xavier Roberts there on the front in his white suit and cowboy hat with the Cabbage Patch Kids. Interesting. Babyland General Hospital. And again, I'm not worried about showing these addresses because I'm sure they're old. This one is from 1987. Henrietta Casey. Same thing. This one is more like the, the ones you get from Coleco, which have like the fake footprints and thumbprints and stuff on them. Which the thumbprint is so huge. Look at this. It's big, like it's bigger than my thumbprint. That's supposed to be for a baby. <laughs> and then there's the front of the certificate. So I just took one for each of the dolls that I had. And then um, the rest um, I wasn't able to buy. They, they said they would call me later to see if they would sell me the whole stack. But I haven't heard anything. So I'm assuming they're not going to. Which is disappointing because... I mean, the sale's over now. What are you going to do with them? Um, this one is for Dana Cody. It says Amethyst Edition. I don't know what that means. I didn't do any research on it. But let's see what it looks like. And what's in here. So it looks like there's two birthday cards in this one. 
Dana Katie. Maybe for her first birthday and her second birthday. I don't know. And here's her birth certificate. 1987 adoption papers. Kind of the same as the other ones. Let's see if we find anything interesting in any of these other ones. This feels like there's more. This is Iris Tori. And it says aquamarine on top. I don't know what that means either. Ah, Cabbage Patch of Lanch. The dolls just fell over there. <laughs> okay, so this one has her little tag that would be, that was like on the dress like the other one. It's a bigger one though. It has her name on it. Iris Tori. And then there are also two Cabbage Patch birthday cards. Both signed by Xavier Roberts. For Iris, oh, it's Iris Terry. Terry? Not sure. Otis and I just wanted to say we, re we remember you on your special day. Xavier Roberts and Otis Lee. And maybe aquamarine refers to the color of the birth certificate. I don't know. Most likely, unless I think these are quite right, I'll probably end up listing the birth certificates separately. So... If you're interested in those, those will be up there too. And of course, if you're watching this a long time from now, there's other um, sellers on eBay that'll have, you know, these similar dolls. Louis Bernard. See, I was thinking these two were going to be Iris and Louis because they have um, the birth certificates kind of birth certificates kind of match um and they're both from 1988 I, I don't remember what was on the behinds of these two what year but i think that's why i grabbed these ones up for these two because i was thinking that they might be iris and lewis here's lewis's um little card bathing instructions and whatnot for Lewis. So that's all the birth certificates I got. Um, no, there is one more for Georgia. I'm not sure where that one went though. And I did get some clothes too. So hang on, let me grab that and I'll show you those too. So I did get a couple of bags like this that had outfits in them. And these ones I actually think are probably like basically the same outfit that was on the dolls that we just saw. So here's the shoes. This is like from the Christmas doll. Oh, and look, his little um, bow tie. This one actually looks better than the one he was wearing. So I might switch these out. And the shoes or the socks are the same. So it's the same like big red socks that the other doll was wearing. So those must be the right ones. And then this one actually has a um, tag on it that says Christmas edition. 1985. So that's his little vest. And then his whole pants and shirt outfit and it even has a little stocking in here which I'm sure that didn't come with him but so that was a cute outfit I got some of these outfits in their bags for um oh, you can't see the you can see the um Xavier Roberts 
signature on the bottom there. I got, and then this is actually not one of the soft sculpture. This is actually a Coleco outfit from the World Traveler Kids. So if you just look at this hat here, can you guess which kid this is from? And then the shirt and the little pants. This is actually from a uh, kid who traveled to Russia. So it's a little, a little Russian outfit. So that's a cute outfit. And then this one I was thinking was gonna be another Christmas outfit, but it looks like maybe there's more to it. So let's see. Oh my goodness, it's like a little sweater. Oh, it says Irish edition. Quentin Flannon. He's got a little three leaf clover, not a four leaf, on his sweater there. And oh, a little cute little flat cap. So they did have, oh, there's some shoes in here. These wouldn't go with this though. These actually are probably for that Russian outfit. I bet these are the shoes that go with that Russian outfit that I just showed you. Um, here's some like knitted red socks. Those are cute. And then um, these little super cute little shoes. They don't say Cabbage Patch on them anywhere, but I'm going to assume for now that they are the shoes that go with that, the little Irish outfit. And then I got a little bag here of two pair of the Soft Sculpture Kid shoes. So um, you can see all these, only the left shoe on them says Xavier Roberts on them. So one of these two pair I'll put on that candy striper doll and then I'll just sell the other one separately. But they do look like real baby shoes, which is cute. They're probably just a bit smaller and narrower. I did snap up a few more outfit stuff. So this is definitely, if you see this tag, these are gonna be for the soft sculpture kids. But it's um, a, like a little sailor's suit. And then there's white pants inside. So that was cute. Um, some, these are from, these are like real thick training underpants from the Cabbage Patch Toddlers that came out, I'm gonna say like 86 or 87. And this is another one of the dresses from the Soft Sculpture. Um, her name is Elena Iris, the doll that went with this. And then this one is like a girl's sailor suit. It says Cabbage Patch Kids Designer Collection by Xavier Roberts. So this is definitely probably one of the um, soft sculpture kid dresses. Little pleats, that's really cute. A t-shirt that says Pearl Edition CPK, and it's very large, so again, I'm assuming, even though I don't see a tag on it, I'm assuming that it's one of the Soft Sculpture Kids um, shirts, just because of how large it is. It's bigger than a regular Cabbage Patch doll. And then I also found this for $1.50, Cabbage Patch Kids Address Book. Not used, it doesn't look like but definitely of the 80s Coleco era style. Then there's some shoes here. I actually got a couple of other pair of shoes, another pair of tennis shoes like this, it's black, and a pair of hiking boots. And I, for whatever reason, I already put those away in the box and didn't show you guys. And these are, so these shoes are newer, well, newer. It's like 96. They're made by Mattel. And then these ones are for the Coleco dolls in the 80s. 
These are also for the Coleco dolls in the 80s. Now, the difference between these, I mean, you can see they're, they're basically the same size. The Mattel dolls were a bit smaller, and um, so sometimes the shoes are too small for the more vintage 80s dolls, but um, these look to be about the same size. And there's a cute pair of pink tennis shoes which I'm actually thinking are not actual Cabbage Patch because the Cabbage Patch ones usually had real holes and real laces, but um, someone will probably still want these because they look just the same. They might be. I'll have to look into it. And I got a pacifier. I actually ended up with three pacifiers. Um, and some pink tights, which probably go with that pink dress that I have down here or no maybe not these aren't big enough for the soft sculpture dolls they really aren't and one more pair of the sneakers again you can see here that these have real laces in them I think that's everything you guys that was a big lot of cabbage patch stuff that I found there at that sale and it was a lot of fun I don't think that I've ever actually come across soft sculpture dolls before um, they are pretty rare they're pretty limited uh, that doesn't necessarily mean their price is super high but they are just more rare and limited and so it was kind of cool to find them having been a huge fan of cabbage patch kids and in, in 83 84 85 i was really really into them it's kind of cool to find those and and actually have them even if i'm only going to have them for a little while Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you would like to support my channel so I can make more fun videos like this. You can become a patron on my Patreon page for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to further support my channel, go over to my eBay store and buy something. I would love it. If you do that, please leave a note letting me know that you watch my videos and I will try to add in a thank you note or some kind of little extra. Thanks again, guys. Make sure and comment below which one of your thing, which one of the things that I had today was your favorite. <clears throat> I think this is actually my favorite because this is close to some of the Cabbage Patch things that I just absolutely loved. And um, if you wouldn't mind watching at least one of the commercials on the videos, I would really appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye.